Well, that's a good start to a video, huh? All right. Now that I've got my espresso shot, good morning. How are you? It is a nice, crispy morning here in Florida once again. And we're back with my Mustang. So, I just went gung-ho. And I have ordered more stuff than you can shake a stick at. Right now, today, this is what we're doing. <clears throat> I got gauges. And I love them already. So, these are going up on the A-pillar. We got boost, wideband, and fuel pressure. And I've looked and looked and looked for videos. Like, how to install these on Mustangs and this and that. And... I haven't found a whole lot. I found enough things in a bunch of different videos to piece it together. So I'm going to make a little video of us putting them in here. I've already kind of started. I wanted to kind of get a feel where everything was at. So whenever I went to do the video, I could actually show you. So here's my uh, boost gauge line. I just tapped it right into the fuel pressure regulator. We're going to be taking this gauge off and then putting this in there. So this way it's in the car. So that'll go boop, right in there. I have already started digging around in the car. We're going to tap into this violet and white wire, which is the dimmer switch. So that way they will dim and brighten, dim and brighten, you know what I'm saying? This is a, a mess right here, okay? So this is what used to be in the car for some old $100 alarm system that I ripped out. So I'm just gonna use these wires to run over to the other side where I have already found the fuses that I'm gonna tap into. The one is the ignition power source, which is a constant power for some reason. And then I found a key on key off power. And to tap into those, we're gonna do this the right way. I know, I know what's crazy. I normally do things the janky way, but I have these. They are called expandable circuits. So what you do, you plug that little guy in and you put a fuse in there and it gives you a little wire off the back so that's gonna make it you know it's a little bit nicer i want this to be a little bit nicer so i already have an extra bung underneath for the o2 sensor it's an e85 wideband so it come with like this little box and all kinds of stuff i did glow shift everything i absolutely love glow shift i should have waited and unboxed everything for you guys but i was just too damn excited i tried starting this two nights ago my buddy's like stop he goes it's gonna be dark it's gonna be cold the video's gonna come out like crap i'm like you know what you're right so when i got home yesterday an hour earlier i started ripping the car apart to do the video and then i was like no stop wait for saturday do it right make sure the wires are nice and let's get it done the right way so here we are um most of the video is going to be a time lapse. Uh, I will explain things when we get there. There's not really much to explain. It's just running wires. I'm going to explain what all this is here in just a minute, which is all the craziness. But let's get to it. Um, I got to take the wheel off because there's a grommet behind the wheel well where we're going to run the hoses and everything. So first things first, I'm going to get this hose ran into the cab and get the wiring harness and the sensor into here and ran into there because it's all got to come up this way we got to get in behind here got to pop that off and we're going to get to it we're going to finally know how much boost the car is making see if it's rich see if it's lean see the fuel pressure and then i got a flamethrower kit for the exhaust e85 boosted it's going to be like two three foot blue flames coming out the exhaust rather excited for that i tell you what i got all kinds of other stuff coming I mean, I, I can't even keep track of it. Tesla screen. I ordered two-step. We was going to put two-step on today, too, but I ordered the wrong one. Like an idiot. Too excited. So, I mean, we got a lot of cool stuff we're doing to the car. A lot of cool stuff. So, you like this kind of content, subscribe, like the video, send some comments, share it with your friends, help a guy out. It's not cheap. I shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> Let's go. Is it going to spray? I don't think so. I'm pretty much at zero on pressure. All right. There we go. There we go. Mm, yeah, smells like corn. 
Let's get our sensor in here. Let's hope that it threads in there correctly. She's already got some thread to seal her on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Our sensor in there, nice and snug down. Plug this little doodad in, like so. Let's get our boost hose all undone here. And now these two are gonna run together. And I believe, you know what? We're gonna do this the smart way. We're gonna turn this like that. And we're gonna run them down and around. But first, I need to get this wheel off of here. So I'm gonna do it. All right, so we got the wheel off. Gotta pop these little doodads up out of here, which are always a great time. Probably gonna break them, probably gonna lose them. Probably gonna pop my head on the side of the car. For so far, brakes and everything are holding up nice. Look at that. They look good. Everything's nice. See? The paint wore right off of there just fine. The holes are black like I wanted. Got all that leftover paint stuffed in the holes. It's fine. It's fine. It'll buff out. Let's get this out of here. None of the guys are around today. Comfy's here because he's just staying here right now. He's before he moves on up the line. Come on! I hate him. I hate him so much. I wish I had a smaller screwdriver. That'd help tremendously, but I don't. Ugh. 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 Help me understand. Alright. You're making me very upset now. Ugh. Don't worry though. I don't know how to fix this. You take something like so, and you just slide it up under here. And go on, go on, like this. Give her a little squeeze, give her a lean. Look at that. Almost like I know what I'm doing. And it's gone. We're gonna put these out in the tarnation. This is so, uh, oh, golly day. Okay, so I got this all off of here now, and this is where we're going in. So this is the janky wire that someone had put on here for that whack alarm system. That's leaving, and I'm going to be having a lot of stuff come through this hole. So I believe I'm literally going to slice the top of this and start feeding stuff in here, because I got the boost line. I've, oh, I got the boost line I got to put in here. I got a bunch of different wiring harnesses, so we're just going to... We're just going to slice it open, okay? Real nice, like. I should call her. <laughs> I can't tell you that. I can't say that on YouTube. Or maybe I can. I don't know. Hopefully kids don't watch my stuff. Okay. Okay, and we got the Hot Licks flame exhaust. Just came in the mail. I'm so excited. I just told my buddy, I guess going on. It's going on right like today. It has to. There, there's no. I, I can't wait. I can't. Okay. Okay. Why is that so? Oh, oh, oh man, there's it's double booted. I'm gonna have to go through the other side too. Can I just? Yeah. It's sealed up real good. Okay. Alright, let me diddy daddy with this thing real quick. Oh, well, I can see light. Somehow. Some way. I gotta feed all this in there. I need to cut. There's a, there's a little hole on the inside. Let's see if I can just work my way down this thing. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I got a lot of stuff I'm going to be wiring up in this car. I'm trying to avoid all the wires. I 
I got the grommet cut out. So we're going to run these down here. I want to make it look as nice as possible. So we're going to follow these hoses right here. And we're going to run it down this way into this gap. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, so there is our boost gauge. We'll make sure and that's nice, that's crimped. I hope that doesn't stay like that. Okay, we're good there. Now let's run our fuel pressure wire. I'm gonna have to go find me some black little zip ties. Run this down the same way. zip tie these up nice right here just like this to follow these lines comp do you have baby black zip ties what? do you have baby black zip ties uh, I don't think I all right well any zip tie will work so we got that going down all right so now we're gonna feed oh man i hope i got enough oh no yeah it should be enough i need to feed this through here this just so conveniently is the same exact size as the boost gauge. I love that. Actually, you know what? I don't like the way that's ran. We're going to do the, both of these in behind this, like so. Let's do one. Do that back there. We got us a nice little wire knot here. got to love it. So much for doing things like that. Okay, there we go. Run that behind all there. We also need to run our O2 sensor wire because I'm going to be putting the computer on the inside of the car. So run this into there. Just like so. I really hope I got enough of that. I shouldn't have done it. Well, I mean, you really couldn't get it much closer. So that into there. Now you gotta stuff this little guy into there also. And through to the other side, which is the difficult part. Curl this over my finger. Push it through. Come on. Come on. Ah. Ugh. I got a lot of wires I gotta stuff in here. And this is gonna be interesting. Ah, got it. Okay. So go inside the car i think i'm gonna run my system that way uh -huh. Whammy. let's see it's it's gonna be close i'm gonna have to find the best way up in there go up close as i can so I get all this so there we go We still got some distance on that. Just cram it in there. All right, so that's one wire. Now, this one, this is gonna be even sketchier. I don't know how much distance I'm gonna have on this. Yeah, it's gotta go, I know this one just has to go inside the car, so. Let's get it ran through here. I might have to have Compte's assistance with this one. I don't know. We're just going to start here. I'm going to get underneath the car and kind of line it. All right, so I've got a lot of the wires ran through there. So this is my wide band wire. It's my boost hose, fuel pressure wire. I'm trying to get those up here right now. So I'm going to take this. Try not to scratch everything in my car. Just found this in the driveway. Compte did somehow. And we're gonna take this, bend it around. Come on. 
Where are you at? Right here. Okay. We're just gonna pinch her down in there like this. See if we can get it up first. And we lost it. Love it. Need the little tape on there. We're gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it like this too. Go in. Hook. Do a little something like that. Uh -huh. Alright. There's that. Now this one needs to not get pinched or anything because it's the boost. I hope that reaches it. I'm going to be okay. I think I'm going to run it like that. I don't know because the thing's got to kind of sit down in there. How is that going to work? I don't know. Alright, we'll leave that like that for right now. Might have to end up... You know what? I'm going to have to trim this. Calm down, I'm gonna have to trim this piece. I kinda need to pull it out there so I can make a hole. But it comes fuck all the way back here. There we go. Look at that. I think what I'll do is just cut up right here. Yeah. Cause that's where everything's gonna come in. Wow, that would have been easier just to do that. I could have just stuck my hand in there. All right, see? Well, you live and you learn. Let's cut this up with a razor blade. All right, got me a nice slot cut out right there so the boost gauge can come up in here. I've tried to cool my head a little bit. I'm just too damn excited, man. I tell you what, I'm just... So I've always, always wanted a car. Had like gauges like this, boost gauges, you know, just the whole need for speed thing. I'm wiling out. Comp just about to go get something to eat, and then we're gonna install that Hot Licks exhaust, baby. I'm super excited for that. So I think I am going to cut all this stuff right here. Get the hell out of here. All this is pointless. The only thing I'm keeping is this constant hot. Car's off. Let's see something real quick. I believe this has got a constant power to it. Bam. So we're going to use that as our constant up here. All this other stuff needs to go. So we got our constant. I'll go over to the other side. What the hell is this? I'll go over to the other side over there and get me my key on, which I already know which one that's going to be. So let me go ahead and grab my micro, my expandable fuse here. The thought of possibly having flame shoot out of my exhaust tonight has just got me tickled to death. I'm trying so hard to keep cool. Wait a second. Yeah. So we're gonna come over here. I need some white, man. What we got going on here? That is a bunch of craziness. That purple and white. Don't know what that's about. That was just tapped in there. I should really just take that out of there. We could probably clip that. Where's that harness at? Oh, there it is. Right in front of my eyeballs. Okay, so here's that thing they so horribly wired into here. It sucks, man. So, the red wire is obviously that constant power. And then there's a black and red. 
What's that black and red one? <clears throat> What in tarnation? Where's there a, a blue and black? Can we steal the blue and black? Like what? How many fuses they got in this dang thing? Well, this is a fuel pump. I know that. That's where our amplifier would come through. I'm so confused right now. Here's that whole mess that comes from over there. We got yellow. Like what? Why do all the colors change? Like where do they change at? Up in this thing somewhere. You know what? We're just gonna get this whole thing figured out right here so that's where it all goes crazy so the only one I want is this one and then we're gonna take the black and red. Where does this go to? We'll use the black and red wire. I ought to just pull most of this crap out of here, to be honest with you. I'm so confused. And this is going to confuse you guys. So I'm just going to stop the video right here for right now and figure this out, and then I'll bring you. All right. I got to figure out what I'm doing. So those existing wires that were ran back there, I'm only using those because uh, I don't have to run no more wires. So I decided to use this yellow, which is hooked up to a constant power that's fused, which is going to go to the constant 12 volts of the gauge. And then on this one, this black and red, purple, 15 different color wire with more butt connectors in it. And then you can check a stick at causing resistance, which is going to burn my car down. I'm going to use for ignition on, which I tapped into one of the fuses. I'd have to look at it. It's a uh, 10 amp. I'll go over there and show you. All right, now I'm going to try and see if I can just pull out all these unnecessary wires. Which I can. Cool. So I only want these two. These other ones are pointless. I don't know where that goes. This one isn't coming out. Oh, so I'm gonna stop tugging on it and just roll this up. Okay. You know what I'm saying, Mike? So I got all that up in there. I'm gonna go show you how I did the fusible or the expandable circuit. So it has one slot for the fuse that was already in the car, and then it has a spot right there so you see it and plugs in comes wire down put that in there so i put two tens in there for one because it was 10 it was already in there and then the 10 for the circuit going out which is to the gauges to just help to turn on now i probed around in here let me show you guys how i did it i need to go get my keys and i'll show you one second so i'm gonna try and make this easy as i can for you guys while also checking this for me so I have the key in the ignition, put my test light on the ground. I already know this has power. Oh, oh, there it is, boom, you can see it. All right, now this one, do this. All right, it's off, it's on, perfect. So there's our keyed ignition. And now this one is where we gotta tap into next. So if we go right here, and to pin one, the violet and brown, sit key in there, barely on because it's everything's there. Turn the lights on. All right, so that's off. I don't know if you guys can see it. So there's headlights on. The light comes on. If I roll the dimmer switch up, it gets brighter. So I'm gonna hook this up to the headlight so that way they dim with it. So I've got to cut that wire. 
and i don't know who was in this thing before me but man did they just get on everything look at this i mean there's just wires everywhere skinned it's absolutely disgusting so i'm gonna have to extend this one so let me turn the car off so there's not no power going to anything make sure the switch is off roll this back and we're just gonna do a little little snip right here okay use the back little skin right there little skin right there and get this one a little bit better there we go all right you can grab me if i run into this one more time i'm gonna be very upset with myself this right here is that my smallest one yes okay okay where's my clients this is a mess i tell you what so we're gonna put this down onto here like so and now that i think about it i should have hooked all those gauges up on different things i should put my wires with male and female connectors so i can take them out what i should have done because if you look here it says i did it i took all their powers all the grounds all the headlights and all the ignitions which is these which in the book where'd my paper go it tells you that's worn tie information i don't know warranty insulation instructions here we go such a cluster around this place golly day cut all that out okay. all right so here we go so our yellow was our constant so which is right there. I put all my yellows together, including the one going down. And then red is our ignition, so that'll be that black and red wire. Headlight switch source will be the one we're putting in right now. And then ground is just gonna be a ground. So I'm gonna run, hopefully I can reach the wires from in there. I think I might just hook them up if I got enough room. You know what? I mean, we're there. Let's go see. Sounds like Alex. No. What in tarnation? Things is getting real now. Who's that? Oh, that's Norman right there. Hey! What is it? Red cabinet is a cabinet like if you got a part that's all for sand blasting. Yeah, it's got new gloves in it. it it's got the wrong sand. You got to dump it out and put glass bead in. And what way? The pump and everything's there. It's there. You plug it into your air and it works. Shh. No, yeah, I want it. Take it away from the road. It's right there. You got to go move it. I, I have fucking moved it once, and there's a parts cleaner there. Little Dave gave me, and it works. It's right by the ditch. Get your buddy to help you move it. Comp day! Alright, we got something to do. Not all that's done. So that mess over there. Try and clean this up, make it look good. Okay, so here is my wide band. I don't know what that's for. My wide band controller. Here's my boost gauge. Here's all the wires to the pillar. So we're gonna put all that up here. And we're gonna I'm gonna eventually tuck this behind here and with all the computer. So I'll just take all these wires, and tuck them back here where no one can see them. Real nice like, golly day, they give you a lot of wire, which is good. I mean, I ain't complaining about that at all. Stuff all that back in there. One day, eventually here, golly day. And then I need to wire up my powers and all that. 
Come on. Just like that. All tucked away. Nice and professionally. Or something like that. There. Okay. So that's that. So now I need to run my power and my remote up here. So I need to find a nice way under the dash. Let me get let me get those routed then I'll turn. I've got everything hooked up to what I believe is right. My switch power, all that stuff. I have no idea what this is. This wasn't even plugged into anything, but just cut it. Um everything's hooked up, I think. Dimmer's hooked up. Um we're about to see if something happens when I turn the key. If I did this right, come on. Oh. Why is that flashing? I can't believe it. That looks awesome. They're no red, yes. Why is the wideband doing all that crazy stuff? Um, I need to hook up the boost. Which is way up here. I'm really hoping I got enough hose to reach it. It's just barely gonna reach. Yep, just barely. And then uh, I got some other stuff to do. I think, yeah, everything should be clear. So let's start it real quick and see what happens. No way, my battery's dead. Mother, son of a gun. All right, gotta go get a jump box. Let's see if the demo works. It's backwards. So bright on the dash. Well, I don't know. That's weird. If I roll it down, they go bright. Turn the lights off. We're there. I guess, you know, I turn the dash down. Those come up, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So why would that be backwards? I don't know about that. That's confusing. All right, let's get the battery charger on. So I'm gonna be using this video for both showing you guys the gauges and also the driving and the new blow off valve. And I love both of them.